Good morning, my little scruff bomb. Somebody needs a haircut. <laughs> you look so bedraggled. <laughs> Gosh, I thought I was having a hair bad hair day. <laughs> it really feels like a spring morning today. Some blue clouds. Blue clouds? <laughs> some blue sky, some puffy clouds and I'm just drinking my coffee outside watching over the boys as they do their morning exploration of the garden. Today is actually a very exciting day. I'm not going to turn the camera around just yet because I'm literally fresh out of bed. <laughs> well, oh here comes the farmer collecting his rams from the field next door. Big changes are happening starting from today. We have got... <laughs> oh, that's them there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the farmer collecting his yeah. rams. Right, okay. It's not the farmer, that is um, the Nicholson's van and they are going to be here for two weeks doing major, major things to the garden starting from today, which oh, we're both just so excited about. We've even had neighbours being like, ooh, you're doing something exciting, aren't you? Because um, now that some of the trees are down, obviously, as you can see, the house is quite exposed. But this is literally the most bare it will ever be because the chaps are here. Things are starting to go back in. So today their job is actually to mend um, the fencing behind the laurel hedging. We were speaking to the farmer over the weekend, getting all the permissions just to be on his land. Obviously, we own the actual border, but yeah, that's all good. So they're going to be mending the fencing. We've got two more trees going in here. Um, and then I think the next job is the orchard going in. So we're getting 13, I think, fruit trees down there, 12 or 13. And then, I don't think I even told you guys this. I hope you can hear me over the wind. We're getting a massive herbaceous border put in thick here and then it'll come out all the way down here and they have done, I'll pop it on the screen if I can, the most intricate design. They've literally planned out where every single plant will go so it's going to go all down here um, and then opposite the door there will be a little stepping stone and like an entrance so you can walk straight onto the lawn. It's just going to be a beautiful mix of English country house flowers. That's going to be spectacular. Um, and then we have got a yew hedge going in where the topiary trees were and a new arch that's more in keeping. It's just going to be amazing. It is going to be such a transformation over the next couple of weeks. And of course Dickens will be overseeing the entire process. Okay, and now a proper good morning from me. Very, very fresh faced. I, what I do, <laughs> I just cleanse my skin super quickly when I wake up. I have been getting up at about half past six in the mornings. Just cleanse my skin so that at least I am fresh faced <laughs> for when everyone starts to arrive. I didn't really realize until moving here that builders and tradesmen always start work at eight o'clock, not nine o'clock, which is like the typical starting work hour, which I guess makes sense because I, I suppose they want to get to your house before you leave for work, presuming that you start work at nine o'clock in the morning. I don't know, but basically I always just like to have my skin clean and looking semi-presentable, even if I am in my dressing gown when people arrive. We don't have anyone in the house at the moment, it's just the Nicholson's chaps who are, as you saw, over the other side of the lawn. Um, but I have been on coffee making duty, so it's actually quite late on in the morning, half past eight, for me to be doing my skincare. So I did a little teaser in a recent video to let you know that I was going to have a very exciting offer just for you guys for the Elizabeth Arden Privage Anti-Aging Daily Serum. I'll tell you about the offer in a little bit but first of all let me explain why this new serum. So if you, I'll pop a picture of the original up on the screen here because I'm sure many of you will recognize it. This is the 2.0, the updated version I could, I could literally blow your mind <laughs> with all the stats about this. I'm going to pop some on my skin now while we are talking. So it's this very light, almost metallic-y, pearly, light 
orange and that's a bit of a clue as to one of the main ingredients serum so i popped this directly onto cleansed skin in the mornings and you can also do it in the evenings as well there we go do you know when you just pop something on your skin and it just instantly feels a million times better so as i mentioned this could literally blow your mind with all of the credentials all of the ingredients but i'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible. I'm just gonna tell you about this as though I was telling my mum about it or telling my friends about it. So the number one thing that I would say this product is all about is anti-aging. <laughs> it's literally called anti-aging daily serum. And the way that this is so anti-aging is that it is jam-packed full of antioxidants. So what an antioxidant does is it basically protects your skin from environmental aggressors. Okay, so environmental aggressors can be things like smoke, pollution, stress, free radicals, basically. We all know that the atmosphere, the air around us is full of free radicals and they can cause so much damage to your skin, whether that's dullness, lack of elasticity, making your pores more prominent. I think I read a stat somewhere that the free radicals around us are the cause of 80% of the aging that our skin experiences. So if we can pop something on our skin that really helps our skin to defend itself against those free radicals around us, then that is one heck of a head start on anti-aging. So that's the main premise of this. So it's the antioxidants in this that help the skin protect itself from the free radicals which are causing the aging. Antioxidants, we think of ingredients like vitamin C, vitamin E, really lovely ingredients that our skin <clears throat> loves. Um, sometimes those ingredients can take a few months before they really start to do anything. So this has got those ingredients in it, but also the star pupil, if you like, is the ingredient Edebanone. And it is one of the reasons why this Provage Serum is the color that it is. So Edebanone is the most powerful antioxidant, literally so powerful that it's used in the medical industry. <laughs> As I said before, if you ever watch on TV shows when they're like transplanting organs from one patient to another, or they they had to take an organ out and they're doing some medical work and then they're putting an organ back in, the organ will be covered in this orange fluid to protect it, and that is Edebanone, which is kind of mind blowing, but that just gives you an idea as to how powerful and protective and reparative that ingredient is. So this is jam-packed with edibonone, but also vitamin C and vitamin E. So you are just getting an absolute boost of those antioxidants, which helps your skin both in the short term and in the long term protect itself from aging. Now I, <laughs> as I'm turning 30 this year, aging is something that um, I would rather avoid having too many signs of aging appearing on my skin. I think prevention is better than cure, so I don't see any problem with starting early, but then equally I won't reveal her age, but my mum is number, number two fan of this serum. <laughs> I think I'm number one fan of this serum. I actually gave her a tube of this for Mother's Day and she's been using the original one for so long and had heard me raving about the updated 2.0 version so no matter how mature your skin is it's never too late to start. So the updated version of the anti-aging 2.0 serum has 10 new powerhouse ingredients within it and these ingredients can actually help to reverse the signs of aging so literally it isn't too late as well as protect it. Obviously when you first use it you want to get an instant result and there are some really lovely ingredients within this that give you that instant glow, instant kind of um, pore refinement, instant skin tone texture, helps with dark spots and things like like that and also some ingredients that just make it a pleasure to apply like it's got peony petal extract i think it's indian cassia cassia flower so some ingredients that just make it really lovely to apply and you just get that instant glow but then over time so obviously when you get that instant hit you're like oh yeah i really enjoy using this product 
but then over time you'll see that your skin elasticity starts to improve if you get those little fine lines on your forehead around the eyes um, around the around the mouth area it helps to re it helps to reduce and smooth those out over time and it's got a blend of peptides it's got some form of I think it's ginger stem hibiscus seed just so many ingredients that the Provage team have spent a very long time researching and have proven that they help with those visible signs of aging and just helping your skin to learn how to protect itself so it really is quite overwhelming but I hope that that overview um, and <laughs> you can see my passion for this product because it is literally insane I'm just <laughs> stood here stroking it because it's so incredible and the new packaging also has a little a little window in it so you can see how close you are to the end because trust me once you start using this you are not going to want to ever be without it so I'll let you know when you need to get a new one. Going back to Provage as a brand it is part actually before I do that um I need to pop on some moisturizer because I do need to leave the house shortly I've got a hospital appointment and it is not one that I'm particularly looking forward to but I do need to leave the house <laughs> in about 10 minutes um so I'm gonna get cracking with applying my makeup while I continue chatting to you so Provage is um, part of the Elizabeth Arden family, kind of like the premium, the premium older sister, I would say, of Elizabeth Arden. One of the ranges that you might have heard of within um, Provage is the City Smart range. And so my special offer for the Provage serum is that if you purchase this, I'll pop a link in the description box. And I also have a discount code, which will come on the screen here. If you purchase using that link, and yes, you can do it in the US as well. I asked the team and they very kindly set it up in the US too. And you use this code, then you will get for free the most satisfying face mask in the whole world. It is the Peel Off Double Action Detox Mask from the City Smart Collection. That mask is worth £60. It is just, you know, sometimes when you come home from work, and this is going to be great when we start to go back to real life after lockdown, because we're suddenly going to be exposed to so many more environmental factors, and our skin is probably going to have a little bit of a tantrum. This mask, when your skin just feels like clogged up and you feel like you want to click, click the reset button, I'm going to be popping it on a little bit later. When you pop it on, and then it dries and then you can peel it off. <laughs> you literally feel like you're pulling all of the grossness from the day off your skin. It's probably my favorite face mask of all time. I really hope that Charlie hasn't pinched it because I'm sure I left it on that table there and I can see that it's not there now. So when Charlie's finished in the gym, <laughs> I will be asking him where he put it. But yes, very, very exciting. I'm so grateful to Elizabeth Arden and Provage for providing this amazing offer because yes, this is a premium product, premium price tag, but I keep saying like we spend all this money on fancy meals, fancy clothes. I must admit, I was like, oh, that is, that's quite pricey when I first heard the retail price of this. But then I thought I wouldn't really think twice about buying a jumper that's that price. And this I'm using at least once a day. The benefits that it brings your skin, it's going to save me money in the long run from facials and just happiness from looking in the mirror and being happy with glowing, smooth, wonderful skin. So this is firmly a part of my routine and now I really must get a little tiny bit of makeup on. I don't need much because it's only a couple of doctors that are going to be seeing my face. This is also from Elizabeth Arden. This is their Flawless Finish Foundation. I have been using this since just before Christmas. It's actually got skincare within the foundation. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E. So again, you're just nourishing your skin and everything that you can do to nourish your skin and add those antioxidants and those vitamins is just really going to help um, your skin to perform at its best, be super protected. <laughs> okay, that was literally the quickest I've done my makeup in my entire life. I've got to dash, I will catch up with you in a couple of hours when I am back from the docks. Okay, I'm back from my hospital appointment. It wasn't quite as um, awful <laughs> as I thought it was going to be, but I have made myself a bowl of comfort food <laughs> to enjoy now that I've just got home. We went to a local shop that has proper, good quality Spanish food and ingredients. So I've got these little mini salchichas, kind of like little mini salamis, and some olive oil flavoured crisps from this brand Torres, and they are just absolutely delicious. So this is my little bowl of comfort eating treats, which I'm going to enjoy and then head out into the garden. Okay, we are now in full gardening attire 
and I'm about to head out to the greenhouse to pop some water on my little seedlings. It's sun and cloud and it's actually fairly warm outside. I don't even feel like I need my um, coat on. But we have also just taken a very exciting delivery and it is most of our new trees and shrubs and bushes. So um, I thought I would give you a little tree haul. <laughs> Have you ever watched a tree haul on YouTube before? You used to come to my channel for a shoe haul or a high street haul and now I'm going to show you my very first tree haul. <laughs> Let's go. Still can't get over how fabulous this table looks by the way. I actually just ripped out a page from Country Life magazine. I think I would like to create seasonal um, decorative urns or decorative displays on that table to really wow our guests as they come in. So I've ripped this out and I'm going to try and recreate this. I don't think, I don't actually know when Easter is this year, but I have a feeling we're still not allowed anyone inside the house by Easter, but it'll be good practice for me. Oh, look at that sunshine. It really does feel like spring today. So we have got a digger over there. And hi! <laughs> The chaps are putting in a new hedge along, no, the new fencing behind the new laurel because the old one was very rotten and also some low-level chicken wire to stop any inquisitive sausage dogs from escaping. And then down here, as you can see, it's starting to cloud over just as I come outside, we have our new trees. So if you were one of the folks like myself that was very sad about the topiaries coming out, you'll be pleased to know we're actually doubling the amount of trees in this space. Um, now, I'd probably get it very wrong if I tried to guess which was which, so let's have a little look. I think this might be the mulberry. Yes, got it right. Black mulberry tree with dark green leaves and velvety underneath. And this is going where the dead tree was over there, so it is the most mature of the trees. So that's number one, the mulberry tree. Gosh, this one is already starting to bloom. This is going to be the most beautiful. I thought they were all white blossom down here, but that definitely looks like a pink blossom. This is quite mature as well. NL Irons. What does NL stand for? Nicholson lads <laughs> i don't know okay so this is one of the ornamental pears a slender tree with a conical habit and glossy green leaves which turn yellow and red in autumn with a white blossom i thought so but that definitely looks like it's going pink doesn't it maybe the fresh little buds are pink and then they turn white uh, so i think we've got six ornament ornamental pears which are all these ones with the green sacks on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, maybe we've got nine. <laughs> oh no. I think it is six because these are holly trees. <laughs> Evergreen ornamental small holly tree, yes. And they will go over there to create a little bit more screening. And then we have got some real babies over here. Let's find a way around. So this area down here is going to be the orchard. Oh, how gorgeous. You can start to see some of the blossom coming through there. That's just gonna look absolutely gorgeous. And then these here are the little baby fruit trees. So we have got apple and cherry, I believe exquisite fine flavor gosh so we can juice apples from our very own garden in a couple of years time you're not meant to pick for the first year i believe because then the energy goes back into the roots as opposed to producing new fruit so that's lovely cherry sunburst so i think we've got six apple and six cherry and then these here are our new yew bushes and they are going to form our yew hedge which is going along here big changes very very exciting and then these two items here will become our new beautiful archway it really is going to look spectacular 
And when the sun comes out, it's actually really toasty in here. I'm not surprised to see that quite a few of the plants have started sprouting. So we've got some of the Cosmos just starting to come out here. I've actually got some more Cosmos I'm going to plant this afternoon. I need to repot a few more broad beans. That's one that I repotted um, a couple of days ago. My That grow bar is finally showing some signs of life ever so slightly. The Cosmos over here doing pretty well. Some peas starting to come up. Lots of peas showing some signs of life over here. In the egg carton as well. Broad beans on this side not doing anything exciting. And my mystery bulb seems to be turning more green and opening up a little bit. We shall see. Cauliflower starting to shoot and then these are my leek seeds. Just looks like I've accidentally planted some grass seed to be honest but we shall see. So I've just given all of these a water and hopefully they can enjoy being watered and fed by the sunlight for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to go and do a couple of hours, well actually no, I'm going to do emails later, I'm going to do my broad bean transplanting into, I actually messaged, um, <laughs> I was fangirling a little bit, I messaged Hugh Richards who has a YouTube channel under his own name um, and I messaged him a picture of my seedlings to ask if they were ready to come outside yet and he gave me some really good tips so my broad beans he said are definitely ready and I think that these pots are the perfect size so I'm going to go and get the broad beans and whatever's left in that tray I think I'll just leave it out on the marble table up here so that everything can start hardening off that noise has been the soundtrack of my morning as they dunk in the new uh, fence panels. Here's an update on my tray. This is the one that lives inside, so it's by far the furthest along. And I reckon this broad bean, maybe even these two, definitely that one, that one, and that one. Let's start with the four most mature broad beans. I've just collected these pots which used to have uh, rosemary, wild strawberry, rosemary, wild strawberry. Used to have some plants in. So yeah, I'm not actually too sure how I'm going to get them out of this tray, but let's give it a go. <laughs> beans have been planted. If you saw me dashing off during that hyperlapse it's because um, a builder left a little Jack Russell. Oh I've got a spot on my lens again. 
I left a little Jack Russell in a van down there and a lady from the village um, came up to that little point in the hedge to tell me, asking if it was one of our guys doing the hedge. So I ran to ask them, um, they said no, but one of them ran down with a hammer, fully prepared to break the glass, even though it's only March. Having just been in the greenhouse, I can tell you how, how warm it is when you're in a glass area so that little doggy must have been getting very very hot but luckily the lady managed to run down to another building site in the village and found the guy whose van it was and he has now been aerated and provided with some water so yes that was a little distraction um, but the beans are in that dibber is really really useful um, we've got two rows of one two three four five and then this one was a little bit more established so i've popped him out on a limb i might add some more broad beans when they're ready to have a few different rows. Now I'm not sure if broad beans will climb. Sorry, it's bin day, so all the bins are out. Um, I'm not sure if they'll climb up these or if they're a little bit too big, but we shall see. Good luck to my little sprooties. Charlie has been laying some bricks around the edge of this bed. Um, it's looking good. Lots more growth from the bulbs. Can't actually remember what they are. <laughs> Possibly tulips actually. But I think I'm going to pop a few more peonies in the ground here. Gosh, look at this big bumblebee. Can you see him? Probably not. He's having a real good buzz around. There's not much for him to pollinate at the moment, but that will soon be a problem of the past. I realized I still have some beans in my packet and it says you can sow them outdoors in February, March, April and May. So I thought to fill in this, these gaps while, I, um, while I'm thinking about it, I might as well just plant a few seeds directly into this soil. I think it's pretty fertile with all the extra topsoil we've popped on and some coffee bean fertilizer as well. So I've got nothing to lose. I'm just going to pop a few of these in the gaps along this front row here and then we can compare how well do you know what these ones might even outperform the ones that were raised inside because they might grow to be a little bit more tough but it's um it's a good time to do an experiment just gone behind a cloud. It has been the most beautiful afternoon. The church will be dinging for 5 p.m. soon. So my broad beans are in and then I have popped these little slate markers. Not sure if you can see them. Um, it's a label different rows that I've done. It's possibly a little bit bold doing so much outdoor sewing in the middle of March, but they've got two chances. We shall see. All of these apparently don't mind a little bit of frost, a little bit of cold soil. So We've just got to wish them luck. So we've got here a row of radish, um, then a row of garden peas. They eventually will need something to climb up. I do have some peas that have started out, um, that I've started out inside, but I don't think they are quite ready to come out just yet. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. We'll give them another week or so. Then here we have got a row of spring onions, a row of beetroot and a row of kale. And I'm going to stop here before I get carried away because I need to leave plenty of room in my beds for um, everything that I've planted started off in the greenhouse. I've definitely gone overboard with the amount of seeds, so I need to not buy any more seeds. Don't let me buy any more. But yeah, hopefully we're going to have a very abundant kitchen garden. Charlie is putting junk from behind the shed into the skip. And he's put some bricks here around the peony and rose bed 
which I think looks great considering it's only a temporary measure until we get our proper beds done at the end of the year. Okay, I've just come in from the garden. I think the light is just starting to go, but I have just had my second delivery from the H&M Simone Rochard collection. I actually think that I placed this order first, but my first order arrived a couple of days ago. Very, very strange. Or well, my second order arrived, arrived a couple of days ago. <gasps> just realized I thought I ordered the pink coat, but that hasn't arrived in either order. I'm gonna have to check what I've ordered because yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there are still some other things. Um, I did quite a few Instagram stories a couple of days ago explaining how I queued on the website for over an hour and a half, having joined the online queue at 7.01. I think the queue started at 7. The collection was meant to launch, launch at 8, but I think I got onto the website at like 8.45, at which point everything was still there, all the sizes were still available, so I did order a lot. <laughs> and I also felt the need to say, on my Instagram stories that I've never spoken to the H&M PR team, none of this stuff was gifted and I didn't get any priority treatment whatsoever. So I thought I would, um, I've already done a reel with the first selection of products, um, clothing items that I got. Two of them were hits and two of them were misses. <laughs> So a couple of them are definitely going to get returned, but I thought I would, I think we've still got a little bit of light left. I mean, it feels quite bright outside, but who knows. This room is normally the brightest at this time of day. I mean, the lighting here looks pretty good. Can't find my tripod though, so I'm just gonna have to prop the phone up on the fireplace and hope for the best. As you'll have just seen, I have steamed a couple of the bits. So uh, yes, I will show you as I try them on. I don't know what soundtrack I'm gonna use for the reel. I'm gonna do a little bit of browsing and then decide where the mood takes me. <laughs> Okay, two bits of good news. Firstly, the sun has come back out, and secondly, I found my tripod. So we are filming the reel to staying alive. I just heard it while I was scrolling through the reels and it's a, a jolly tune. So first of all, I have got on the kind of nighty negligee item. <laughs> it's probably been a long time since you guys have seen inside this bathroom, if ever before actually. Gosh, it's really not the best for showing you outfit information. Um, but it's a very long, silky, nighty item. I mostly like it, and I think from far away it's actually quite an elegant piece, she says, leaning up against a toilet. But the only thing that does bother me slightly about it is the width of the straps. Something about the chunkier ribbon-like straps just makes me think of really old-fashioned Marks and Spencer's bras. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, not too sure. I do really like this lace at the bottom. I like how it hangs. I like how it fits on my body. I need to remind myself how much it was. I think if it was over 50 pounds, then I will return it. I'm not going to be blindsided by the fact that it is a Simone Rochard collaboration because at the end of the day, the quality is H&M quality just with Simone Rochard designs. So we shall see. Let me know what you guys think to this one. For some reason, I decided to try and do the cool hair bob look for this second outfit, which I love. I'm definitely keeping both of these pieces. So yeah, this never really works for me. I'm just not cool enough. So this is the t-shirt with the little pearl eyelashes on it. And I really just think that's a nice, cute little design detail, very simple. Um, would look great with a nice little necklace as well. And then the skirt is what I love the most. Probably better actually for me to show you in this mirror here. So it is a midi length tulle skirt and I'm a big fan of both midi length skirts and tulle skirts. So yes, this takes a lot of boxes for me and I paired it with my very old little um, Tory Burch pearl sandals. I think that just looks absolutely adorable. I've changed my mind and I thought this outfit was very Carrie Bradshaw, so I'm now doing my reel to the Sex and the City soundtrack. Okay, this is it. This is actually the dress um, that made me first take notice of the collection. I had a lot of you guys tagging me in pictures of this dress on Instagram, being like, Josie, look at this dress. And it literally is quite spectacular. 
I'm gonna throw this out there. I would actually get married in this dress. <laughs> I think it is so stunning. So neckline wise, we have got um, this beautiful pearl detail. It's a very similar pearl pattern to the eyelashes in the last um, t-shirt. Cinches you in around the bodice. I mean, look at this for a silhouette. This is literally a wedding dress. It is just gorgeous. I love where it crops. It makes it look as though you have the most insane silhouette. And then it's almost like a prin princess poof, um, poofy skirt. It's just gorgeous. And then it finishes just, do you know what? Actually, if I was getting married, this would be my like next day dress. If you just wanted to continue to, or, or Hindu. I don't know, I just love it. And I feel like, it's very bridal. It is very, very bridal. Or maybe if you were christening your child. I don't know. I'm trying to think of different occasions where you'd wear this. But I will find some. Don't you worry. Uh, no pockets. Or is it? I feel like I can see the silhouette of a pocket there. Yes! but very sheer. You can see the top layer of fabric is very sheer. Um, not those weird, <laughs> so many of you messaged me on Instagram because I was complaining about the pockets in the pink dress, um, saying that they looked like cat bum holes, and I have to agree, they do look like little bum holes. So thankfully this dress has normal pockets. I would have been devastated if, um, if they were cat bum hole pockets, but yeah, this is just rather gorgeous. Okay, here comes the sun. Time to get changed into my next dress, which does unfortunately have cat bum hole pockets. I mean, what is with this? So, so strange. Anyway, let's pop it on. Time to film the next part of the reel. And here is the next dress. The biggest letdown, it really, really is, because I would have adored this dress if it wasn't for the um, stupid pockets. I saw um, a fellow influencer trying on, I can't remember if it was this one or the plain pink one on her Instagram stories, and she didn't mention the pockets. She <laughs> just glazed over them and didn't, um, didn't draw any attention to them whatsoever, but I'd love to know what everyone else's thoughts are. Everyone on my Instagram agrees that the pockets completely ruin the dresses, um, but I am quite, oh, I don't know, it would be fairly easy, I think, to just stitch it up um, and cut out this wadge of fabric that's inside them. This one, I have to say, it's not quite as um, excruciating because the fabric does detract a little bit. And what lovely fabric it is, it's like a floral jacquard, and I love the colours, I love the silhouette, but the black hole cat's bum pockets really are such a shame but it looked really cute in the reel i did quite a fun transition for this one so do check it out on the gram if you haven't already up next is this brodery dress and i have to say i think this is the most wearable thing from the whole collection although i haven't tried on the chunky knit with the pearls yet that is next and i'm excited to try that because i think that could be my favorite i'm going to let you know my top overall favorites um after I've done the next outfit, but this is a beautiful floral brodery dress. Looks really cute, I have to say, with my little pink Prada bag. Do we have pockets? I'd be surprised, actually. Yes, we do. We have pockets. Um, and it's almost like a bit of an apron in its... Oh, I like the fact there's a little slit there. That's nice. You almost have two, like, oval-shaped with the bits of the top cut off, because it's like a kind of apron, if you see what I mean. Um, really like the ruffle, that little brodery lace on the edge there. I like the floral, fa floor <laughs> floral fabric, that's a little bit of a tongue twister. I actually have a dress already in this exact fabric from LK Bennett a couple of years ago, and I love it. But yes, this is definitely, so far, the most wearable piece from the H&M. Simone Rocha collection. And once again, these shoes, I will try and find them somewhere um, and leave them linked down below. I know that when Freddie and I went to LA slash Palm Springs, she was looking for them in all of the all of the outlet stores because they're very much a couple of seasons old. Um, but maybe, maybe they're somewhere online and you might be able to shop tagger them. Please excuse the bomb site behind me. I have literally just been doing super duper quick outfit changes to get that reel up and done and uploaded and it is now live. This is the final piece from the collection. So I've started with the skirt again. I, I think these maybe are my two favorite pieces from the whole collection. So we have got the knit, 
oh i don't know the white dress as well you have to let me know down below which your favorites are but i love this neckline detail excuse my nails i have been i think that's the result of gardening but i've been chip chip chipping away at them probably while i was sat nervously waiting for my hospital appointment as well Ugh very bad habit yes love this knit love it love it love it um let's get real though let's have a look at what the material is please don't be awful okay <laughs> thank goodness 95% cotton 5% alpaca no polyester hallelujah it's not wool it's not cashmere it's cotton while it's breathable is not the most heat containing material so it's going to look cute and it's going to be breathable you're not going to feel as though you've got plastic burning into your back if you do sit near a fire that definitely has happened to me before in christmas jumpers so yeah the material is fine it's just not the warmest but you could definitely wear thermals underneath this as i will and it's pretty chunky i have to say i feel pretty toasty the sun has just made such a reappearance so it's actually nice and toasty in this room i really like the thickness of the knit and it has got a slight balloon sleeve as well i think this skirt is another of my favorite bits from the collection again with the cute little shoes in the reel i did have it tucked up a little bit so i think that makes the sleeves a little bit more prominent i'm a big fan i think this is definitely my favorite designer collaboration h and i've ever done um so many pieces that are just so true to my personal style are they practical for the countryside? Absolutely not. But do I love them? Yes. Okay, I have put my normal clothing back on now. Um, as promised, I'm going to share with you what I'm keeping, what I'm going to be sending back. Right, let's start off with this. This is the one that I mentioned. I do have something fairly similar from LK Bennett last year, but I really like how this looks and I'm a sucker for white dresses. I literally just can't say no to a white dress. So I think I'm definitely going to keep this one. So it's going to go in a keep pile. 100% definitely keeping the tool skirt because it's just gorgeous. Don't know where I'm going to wear it, but I will find a way I think everyone's going to be getting dressed up a lot more this summer because we have been living in loungewear for so long. I think we're all ready to wear some normal clothes. So yeah, definitely keeping that. It doesn't have those little um, stringy things to pop it on the hanger. So I'm just going to pop that separately. Without a shadow of a doubt, I will be keeping the pearl jumper. I proclaimed my love for this <laughs> over you guys a second ago. Okay, this I'm a little bit torn on. I really am torn. Um, I bet they don't have the prices on. Nope, just extra small. That's annoying. I'm going to remind myself of the price of this. Um, and I'm also going to wait and see what you guys think because I was torn. Do you see what I mean about the thickness of the straps? They just really do remind me of old fashioned underwear. And I mean, this kind of plastic is a little bit cheap, but then the overall effect was good. So yeah, please let me know your opinions on the slip dress. On the reel that has already got 15,000 views, oh my goodness, uh, quite a few people have said that they love the slip dress and that's a point. I can wear it under things, but it's quite long and I don't think I've got any long sheer dresses. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in the keep pile, but it still might go. So this one, I, feel like I just, there is no way that I could send this back, even though it's kind of <laughs> ridiculous and like, when am I going to wear it? But it's just absolutely gorgeous. Maybe if Charlie and I end up having a really small village wedding, now that we're actually allowed to get married again, maybe I'll just wear this. Or maybe we'll just elope to a registry office somewhere. I mean, we have got the most beautiful church at the bottom of the garden. Maybe we could just be like, hey, we fancy getting married today. And then I've got this in my wardrobe ready to go. Okay, the eyelash t-shirt, I just think is really, really fun. Um, and I mean, it's just a t-shirt, it's pretty affordable. Definitely going to keep this one. In fact, I'm gonna pop it in the chest of drawers in my bedside table because that is where I keep a little bit more 
of my kind of casual wear. So these are the pieces that arrived in the first order. Um, so they were in the first reel and I haven't shown you them yet in this video, but if you follow me on Instagram you will have already seen these and heard my review. This is the dress that I first tried on and noticed the very odd pockets. Do you see what I mean, where this dress is plain in its pattern, the pockets and their really weird style stand out a lot more. So this is sadly definitely getting returned, so let's start a return pile. And I have to say, I do have other dresses in my collection that are perfect and don't require me to go to a tailor. So I think for the same reason, I bet there'll be loads of returns of these dresses because people just won't know what to do with the weird pockets. Um, yeah, so for the same reasons, the weird pockets, such a shame, but I think I will return this one because it's not perfect um, and I'm sure someone else would love it. Okay, and then three more pieces. I love the cardigan. This was another big hit. Um, and I did mention in the stories, but it's the kind of thing you could wear over the top of a dress on those evenings when it starts to get a little bit chilly. I often wear spaghetti strap dresses and I feel like I just want a nice little cardigan over my shoulders. And even to events in summer, summer events, barbecues, you know when the sun goes down, you just want a little something over your shoulders. And I feel like this is absolutely perfect. So that's a definite keeper. <laughs> it's another one of those pieces like the skirt that I don't know where I would wear it to but this beautiful tool blouse with the pearl detail is just so pretty that I can't possibly send this back. I don't think I would wear it with the tool skirt, I think that might be a little bit of tool overkill but it's just absolutely gorgeous, really really fun, looks nice with a statement lacy bralette, just realised. I hope I haven't missed my video upload time. Whew. Three minutes to go. Normally an alarm goes off when I need to post my video. So yes, I will be keeping this because it is such a fun piece. And then I don't like to end on a bad note, but um, such a shame. I had really, really high hopes for this dress and I really thought it was gonna be my dress of the summer um, for weddings, special events, things like that. But the thing that annoys me the most about this, as you can probably see, is that the seams don't line up. Now to me, that's a real design flaw. You could probably put some little stitches in this, but then would it bunch up the top fabric? That to me kind of shows that they rushed this collection a little bit. Um, I love the puffy sleeves, I love the organza material on top, I love the oh, I love the pattern, I love how the silhouette is meant to be, but it really does bother me that the seams don't line up and I feel like with a designer collabor collaboration like this, you do expect the pieces to be perfect because that's literally, you know I used to work at Mulberry and the first thing that really occurred to me was how much of a perfectionist the whole company is. So for example, one of my first jobs as an intern at Mulberry was steaming, steaming 750 goodie bags because the goodie bags at the fashion show couldn't have any creases in them. That is the level of perfection that designer brands work to. So for a designer such as Simone Rocha to have overlooked seams that don't match up when the top layer is organza is a little bit of a shame. So three dresses are going back and everything else I'm keeping, unless you guys tell me that I've made a bad decision. I won't send anything back until this video has gone live, so please give me your feedback. This is my loot. <laughs> That's a pretty good haul for me. I feel like I haven't done a proper haul in such a long time, but that is not bad going. I've just spent the last couple of hours. Now it's finally getting dark. I'm loving these lighter evenings. Maybe it wasn't a couple of hours, maybe it was just an hour. Doing a little bit of tidying up here, and as you may be able to see, let's see if I pop the light on. It always makes the camera flicker, but you can tell just how beautiful it looks in real life when the internal lights are on. I feel like it just looks like a beautiful shop or gorgeous showroom. So I have just tweaked the items in this little section of the cupboard a little bit. I've popped my Prada basket tote that I was just using in the reel up there. Um, and I've made this little section a bit more pinky. It looks rather gorgeous. So I've got this absolutely spectacular LK Bennett jacket with the pearls, um, the Gucci cardigan, and the Another Stories cardigan with the pearls, and then a lovely little pink knit from Reese. So it's still kind of knitwear but in a slightly more pink colour palette. I haven't actually finished doing this side yet. I just took some of the darker toned items out. Gosh, that is really flickering. It's because these lights here, gosh, it's going mad now, are LED. Oh my gosh. 
I bet if I had any seedlings that were really struggling and I put them in there, that would really help them to grow because apparently seedlings really like <laughs> LED lights. Um, but I was also just tidying, tidying up a load of beauty products. You guys see that I do get very kindly sent a lot of samples. Um, and at the moment, these are the samples that need putting away. Oh my goodness. And a couple of other lovely pieces that arrived today. So Holland Cooper usually do some really lovely things for the Cheltenham races. This would have been my first year living very close to the races. I think the Cheltenham races last year was one of the last events that really went on with um, before Covid shut everything down. And they've sent a couple of goodies to celebrate, including these gorgeous gloves. And I've actually been looking for a pair of leather driving gloves all winter. I feel like it may be getting a little bit warm for these now, but I guess if you're horse riding or something on a frosty morning, they would still be perfect. And they've got a gorgeous, is that wool or cashmere? Cotton and cashmere lining, absolutely gorgeous. And this lovely hat, I do love a wool hat, and my Holland Cooper ones are my absolute favorites. So that was a very lovely surprise delivery from Holland Cooper. And then, this was a delivery from a company called Bagpad. They actually emailed me and asked if any of my handbags were um, sat around getting a bit misshapen and I said yes my mulberry base water and so this apparently will fit perfectly inside and help it to hold its shape so let's have a little look where's my base water gosh so many bags in here that just need to be worn out the house so I actually do you know what I actually asked them um, to send it for my old base water which is that one at the back there but I feel like <laughs> yes, I still haven't, I haven't obviously used this bag since before COVID, um, so these are my pre-COVID bag essentials, just a load of rubbish in there, I bet these Frutellas are still okay though, might just snuff one of those now. Well, that is rather fabulous, oh my gosh, I can finally remember what shape this bag is, instead of having it just like crunched down and looking all sad for itself in storage, that is so much better, oh my goodness. That actually looks brilliant. I'm so grateful for that. I might look at getting some different sized ones for my other handbags as well. So thank you very much for that lovely delivery from Bagpad. Oh dear, the Frutellas were absolutely as hard as bullets, but never mind. So I'm now gonna end the vlog with a little bit of a pamper and I'm going to be using, I found it, I had actually hidden it. I forgot I'd hidden it from Charlie because if I don't hide my best best face masks he just uses them so this is the city smart double action detox peel off mask it's got i think it's polymers some kind of ingredients that just lift all the dirt out of the skin which is so satisfying you leave it on for 20 minutes and then peel it off and it is just incredible so i'm going to have a really good double cleanse while watching a youtube video and pop this on and then i will show you how satisfying it is when you peel it off again Okay, so I just popped the mask on, my camera battery is just about to die, but it's basically like a juicy layer that you pop on your skin. I can already feel it tingling. And then in about 15 minutes, if I keep talking, I will just have like weird bits of face mask dangling around my mouth. So I'm gonna just not talk for 15, 20 minutes while this works its magic. And then I will show you how amazing it is when you peel this off. And this is the face mask that you can get for free. Um, if you use the link below and use the code and it's not valid for that long, you've got 72 hours. So, and that 72 hours already started from when I sent my newsletter out. So you've probably got about 48 hours left. Um, so yeah, you'll get this insanely good face mask for free with the purchase of this with the code and the link in the description box. So I highly, highly recommend Okay, I'm gonna watch some YouTube for 20 minutes while this does its thing. I beg your pardon. You're a bully. You're a bully. And you're annoyed. Okay, it's actually only about 12 minutes later because I didn't realize <laughs> it's really weird talking. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize, but our food is nearly ready. So I don't know if this is gonna work to its best potential. You need to like move your skin in order to get it started, but look how satisfying this is. 
Oh, yes. I think if you're the kind of person that likes squeezing spots or looking at gross things and investigating the sheet mask and all of the grossness that's on it when you take it off is just so satisfying. I'd recommend popping on a thin layer. You don't need too much of this mask because if it's too thick, it just won't set. But look, it's literally peeling away. Oh, that feels good. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. And try to get it to like match up, all, all match up on your face. And then it should all come off in one instead of little itty bitty bits. And don't get any on your eyebrows. I learned that the hard way. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then you can, oh, even though I double cleansed my skin before, there is still, ew. Oh, that feels so good. So that is your freebie to enjoy. Oh, still got some dangling, still got, a little bit dangling that is your freebie to enjoy upon purchase ooh, of the serum with my code what i'm going to do now is actually just take um some toner over my skin just to make sure there are no remnants of the mask left and then i'll pop to toner did i say toner serum and then i will pop the serum on again um while i enjoy my dinner i like to have cleansed skin while relaxing at home in the evenings sometimes i do get a little bit in my hairline and then I'll pop my night cream on just before I go to bed. Serum on, skin totally pampered, and I am going to end the vlog here. Charlie has been making a risotto for dinner tonight, which I'm very, very happy about. So darlings, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog, a little bit of skincare, a little bit of, um, gosh, was it within this vlog that we had our tree haul? Oh my goodness, that feels like forever ago. Hope you enjoyed it darlings, if you did then please do give the video a thumbs up as always. Thank you so much for watching and um, everything about the serum and the offer will be in the description box down below, don't be slow because, that rhymed, <laughs> down below don't be slow because yes I think you've got around um, 48 hours left to use that here in the UK and in the US. Um, you're gonna love it, I'm so excited to see your messages when you guys receive it and start using the serum because I know you're going to love it. Okay, that's all from me darlings. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.